Welcome to another video of our Valheim. Uh, let's see here. Today, our goals are going to be quite, I think, simple. Very simple goals today. We're going to grab a whole bunch of br bronze. We're going to grab a whole bunch of bronze. We're going to grab a whole bunch of fine wood. We're going to grab everything pretty much we need to upgrade both our gear. Let me show you what I mean. We want to be able to make... I can't make it here. Excuse me. I have to go to the forge. You want to be able to make some, we want to be able to make some bronze plate. We're going to be able to make our cultivator. That'll be important for starting to make crops so we can get better food. A bronze mace. That's good. Another thing we're going to want. Be good for one-on-one -on -one fights. Uh, we will want the butcher knife. Because we are going to try and tame some creatures at some point. But we'll go ahead and get that. As well as the bronze pickaxe. We're going to want to upgrade again. That's a ton of bronze... We'll be grabbing a ton of that kind of thing. The other things we're going to want to do... We're going to want to... Make... Let's see here. We want to make a cauldron. So we need tin for that. We'll make some fermenters. So we need bronze for that. We're going to want to make some of these upgrades. We'll need copper and bronze. All these sorts of things. We're going to need upgrades. As well as an upgrade for our workbench again. Uh, and I believe... That's... The most of it. Quick. Before we go too far, though, I'm gonna take some of this. We have plenty of it, and I'm gonna just put some more decoration down. Get our comfort level up a bit near the entrance. Another thing I want to do, do I have okay, enough core wood inside? I have core wood outside though. I think if I put down some seating, that also increases. Like a, typically, I've said this in my build before, but in, in Viking uh, homes, there would be seating along the sides. Yes, it does increase my comfort level again. places along the side and it's the wrong way i thought that was the wrong way looking at it so it's weird the arrow that points to you is not the way you sit like i thought it was but that is the way you sit you can see how it kind of goes a little bit lower there you can sit along our side we sit here along out of our lonely long house i also kind of want to start getting resources to build the uh, forge. And that's going to be a whole new building. I'm actually currently working on the tutorial for that. So that'll hopefully be done soon. And I want to see if I can't find a meadows on this side of the river. I need to see if I can't find a meadows. Maybe down this way past the elder. It'll be easier to get um, fine wood when I do that. So that's another goal of ours today. We have a few goals to do. Kind of go through and collect our our honey. Let's go ahead and we'll grab some of those. We put away this. We can put away. We can grab that. Another. Make another stack out here. Here we go. Just gonna make sure everything is repaired. We have our fine bow. That's good. Mickey hat. Interesting. I didn't realize. I guess this is for their Halloween thing. I'm also debating whether I want to get a shield to go with the mace. Maybe like a wood shield, a wood tower shield, possibly. Or just a wood shield for pairing. One of the two will be good to have combat and then of course we're gonna have to have our items for arrows fire arrows for the other will be good we're gonna have to gather a lot of stuff so we're both preparing for the next boss fight which is the other and we're preparing for just for our expansion here our expansion inside the, the black forest uh let's go ahead and we're gonna do some before we do too much we're gonna do some exploring and while we do some exploring i will invite you to please you know like and subscribe to the video you're watching today. 
Um, I also would enjoy uh, implore you to uh, join the Discord. Uh, down below. Oh, that's it. A fruit is down below, and hopefully, once we can grow that a little bit, we can get some discussion going there about Valheim, about other games, about roleplay. I also roleplay in Red Dead Online. Uh, well, on a Red Dead Red M server. There we go. Another one of our gray dwarf spawners has been taken care of. And this one's the one that is actually down towards the elder. That's good. Allows us to expand more around the merchant as well. Yeah, and, and, and join the Discord. I would love to get more conversation going there. I'd love to just get more activity there about whatever we do. And another spawner. I want to keep one of these spawners alive. Regular That's that. There we go. Also, check out some of the other Let's Plays I have on the channel, like this current Satisfactory playthrough I have going. All my previous Let's Play videos, uh, playthroughs that go for quite a few episodes. I think I'm nearing 200, 200 videos on the channel in total. It's really getting up there. Let me go check out this Elder spawn. Ooh. Wait, is this a double ship spawn? The thing with ships, right? I don't even have to dig very far. You can get treasure from these as well. That dig pretty much into the middle of them sometimes you get a chest we got a lot of water so i'm not sure if the chest will be in the middle i'm not sure you get a chest but the really good thing about ship spawns I believe these give fine wood. Let's go ahead and check that out. Yes, they do. We're gonna get a ton of fine wood from this. By a ton, I mean we're gonna get like 40. But that's okay. I not even 40. Let's go check out our elder spawn over here, our elder fighting area. Just so we kind of know what we're dealing with ahead of time. I don't know if I'll make any alterations to it. I know sometimes people will make what they call a, you know, boss fighting arena. Where they kind of build around it. But I think... As long as he spawns not in the water, which will help him with the feeling of fire arrows. I think we should be good... Fight here without making alterations. We have ways to hide from him over here. If he's on that side, you can use the pillars to block some of his attacks. Just gotta be careful. I do want to make sure I get good, better food before I take on the elder, and I do want to make sure I upgrade my equipment. That's just gonna be some of the things we do. Um, let's go ahead. We're gonna keep grabbing deer, by the way. We need deer skulls to increase our stag breakers level a ton of 10 over here oh you were not there before Where did he come from he was not there before
stamina back. I can almost stag break you, you think? I might have too much health. He doesn't want to come near me now. Come on. Okay, Stagbreaker does hardly any damage to him. Alright. I wanted to make sure... Oh, I didn't get all of it. I didn't get all of it. Okay. Here's what we gotta do to get that now. Oh, there's one way down there. That's an unfortunate. Got some of it. I got some of it. Got a little bit more of it. I get the rest of that gold. It's kind of hard to get. Oh, I got. Fine, let's get that one more. Oh, I didn't quite land in the right spot. Our swimming's going up doing this. We're already kind of full. There we go. Well, that was one coin. I'm not going to be able to get that, unfortunately, but... The way things are sometimes. Okay. Random troll. He was not here. Unless I just somehow... No, I definitely walked near here. He must have spawned after I went over by the Elder. Not too bad. Alright, so it looks like we got water here, which means this is a very big, at least, lake, maybe. We could reconnect this way. That's a possibility. Let's go this way. Let's explore a little bit more. Let's still see if we can find some stuff. Did not like... But it looked like this goes around like I'm on a peninsula. Oh, he went a little too far out of range. There must be a tomb right here. There must be a tomb right here. Yep, there is. Okay. Oh, ow. Mark this tomb. The burial chamber is. It's called actually called in the game. The killed a deer over here. No deer trophy though. Oh, it's gonna be a peninsula, isn't it? I'm on a peninsula. There's another troll. That troll cave. Might be a troll cave there. Or ten. Oh, oh, oh. Another tomb. We got plenty of tombs around here. Oh shoot! I was trying to hit him in the head for a little bit. Okay. Don't mind me. I'll just keep missing. go. Hit him in the head. You definitely get...
more damage done. Oh, I tried to aim too high. Oh. Shaman's coming in. Dog's barking at me for some reason. Probably close the door again. Oh. Uh oh. She's barking at me. I got. I got gray doors all over the place. I'm gonna have to take a second and go take care of my dog. I'll be right back. Okay, dog's taken care of. Still in the same spot. Didn't run anywhere far away. I don't want the dandelion. I will take the puke berry because those can actually be a puke berry, I guess they call. Those can actually be useful. Let's mark this tombstone over here. Pick up some of these resources that were dropped during the fight. Lots oh, of. Belt is still right there. Some bone fragments. There's two more. Oh. Not rested anymore either. That's going to make things a little bit harder. One start gray doors, they no longer bother me. Two star, I'll probably still have to watch out for. One star, not a problem. Grab all this stuff. Let's mark this tomb. There are tombs there. There's a lot of tombs there. And this might be a. This is a troll cave. And a troll cave here. Let's see if there's a troll inside of it when we go to it. Various. I don't know why I'm trying to grab those. I don't have any room in my inventory. I guess I could get rid of the buke berries. The berries. Blueberries, rather. More carrot seeds there. You have a troll cave. Is there a troll inside? Remember, he might spawn in slightly late. There's a troll inside. We don't want this fight. Okay. We don't want this fight right now. Not yet. Not yet. Hmm. I'm... Man, this Black Forest goes on for a ways yet. Up north, I think it goes into a... I think it goes into a swamp. This way it goes and... Man. I might have to go just get a ton of fine... Find wood from the other side of the river. All right, let's go back to our base. Let's turn in our stuff. We got a lot of stuff real quick. Playing the trolls definitely helped. Grab more stuff. Hello. Listen, I don't mind doing these little fights at night because we're just improving our skills at this rate. I feel like every night patrol of Grey Dwarfs has at least a one star. Okay. I don't want to fight this anymore. I don't want to fight this anymore. Oh, they're still here where I destroyed the last one. Hey guys, hi. Oh, hey, what's up? Yeah, there's a lot of you. Stay away from me. I need this brute to do a strike at me. There we go. Oh, 
Stop hitting me with stuff. Oh, no, he didn't keep going. He and the graders behind behind him, but I don't necessarily care about that. Brute is about the worst thing for me right now. These guys are getting annoying with the rocks. <gasps> no, 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 no! Don't get in the water too much. Don't get in the water too much. I can kill this brute. I can kill all these guys pretty quick. That's trying to go kill the brute. That's fine. Give me a chance to kill that. There we go. Fire is keeping me from being cold, which means my stamina gets back faster. There we go. Yeah, I want to drop for this trophy. Not particularly at this moment. I have a lot of stuff for inventory. This is why I sleep at night on This is why I almost always sleep during the night on when I'm in the black forest. Not that it's hard, in fact I'm having a rather easy time. Or just it becomes constant. And Dagbreaker's now about halfway, so we're getting to a point where we gotta start, you know. Yeah, gotta start Came back to get repaired, but what's in here? Another one. There's another one. Poison me, but that poison shouldn't kill me. Right, I gotta start heading back. This is becoming almost unsustainable. It looks like morning's about. Yep, morning just hit. And okay, I already marked this copper. I just gotta get back. I have so much stuff in my inventory that needs to go put away. I find wood. I might be able to upgrade. I already did upgrade my bow. That's why it's level three. That's good. Good. Could do some other things. I need to hold that firewood, fine wood off until I make the fermenters. Go this way. This way will be the way to get to. Oh, and I need to check the barrel that's in front of this place. Hey. Keep eating our food that we're getting. I don't want to pick those up because I don't have the inventory. Oh, I... oh, that's right. There we go. What are my skills at right now? That means almost a 35. Pretty decent. It could be a lot more. There that. I also need to go through and just... Sort some of these inventories out. Some of these are just nuts. They're bananas. 
Forty of those, that's good. I'll take that. That stack over there, and then we can just have the rest of the treasure to put away. Actually, we can just go sell this immediately. We are right next to Howler, after all. For 80 gold. At some point, we'll start stacking treasure. There. All right, so I want to show this over here, the barrel. When you're in the Black Forest. I'll do this what I did. You'll sometimes come across these structures. You can find it again. Right over here, was it not? A little bit further north. You'll sometimes find these, yeah, there it is. These structures. At these structures, there will be these barrels. Can't open them by hitting, but you can break them like so, and they'll just have random items in it. This one had leather scrap and resin. I've opened one of those before, and it had about six ten in it. You can do all sorts of stuff like that. There's all sorts of stuff like that you can find in the Black Forest. A lot of little tiny things. What's great about buildings like this is once you get to where you can build stone, you can bring over a stone cutter. You can just demolish this building. And get a whole bunch of stone for it. But if you want to build something that's yours, a bunch of stone. We have a ton of stone around us already built. We could theoretically, once we get the stone cutting, just grab a bunch of it. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go grab a ton of copper, a ton of tin, because there's a ton of tin down by the Elder. We have plenty of copper right around us that we haven't even finished getting yet. There's copper up this way, all sorts of tin. And then we're going to come back and hopefully be able to make quite a few things. Uh, let me think here but before we go too far. Yeah, so we're going to be able to make at least a fermenter, I hope. That will have to be inside. Oh, the few other things. So that's what we're going to do next. And then we'll be back with. I mean, I'm hopeful we'll be back with a whole bunch of stuff. Being stuff, you know, advance along. That's what we're going to do. Okay, I think we have quite a bit of resources ready. And some things I want to try and do here. We have. Probably need of more coal Because it's gonna take a lot of coal to get through all of that A couple of things I want to do is I want to go ahead and start making Some of this wood into charcoal We're gonna put in our charcoal kiln I want to start getting some of this stuff being made we need quite a bit of it. Oh So heavy so heavy All I have to do is really put 10 of these in here and I'll be fine. Bam. Okay. And put these back. I also made went ahead and made another chest onto our line of chests here because we were starting to get quite a bit full on a whole bunch of stuff. I just wanted to get all of that taken care of. So also what I'm going to do while we're making all of this stuff up, we're going to need more wood. There's no doubt about it, we're going to need more wood. I think what I want to do is I want to place my forge building in this area here. I'm going to, we're going to need all the wood anyway for this. We're going to clear out a whole bunch of trees. Can I get some trees around this place cleared out a little bit? Because we're going to build a, build a race and kind of... A, our, our race, our base, and kind of a roundabout way around Haldor here. We're just going to clear out a ton of trees and get a whole bunch of wood. And after we do that, that's going to pretty much, you know, set us up for the next build. So, we're going to have a ton of resources, which is what we want. In fact, what I want to do now, before we do anything, I want to build this cauldron. 
But what I'm gonna do is something a little bit different. We're gonna alter, go ahead and alter our build now. We have that there. Grab some stone. I don't want to escape too much there. This here, and what I want to make is a cauldron, so we're gonna need a pen. Oh, oh, oh no, I ran into it. Oh no, I ran into it. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. I almost did it again. I keep hitting Q to build. I do not know why. I think it's a different game I've been playing has been Q to build and satisfactory, actually. Here we go. Now. We can make Queen Jam. It's going to be great for our... Great for our... Stamina and board jerky, which is going to be good balance food beyond the mushrooms. We can also take our fish that we get and make raw fish, which will help us make some other meals. And then we'll have some healing potions in here. You can kind of see what we need. So the meat will be fermented in healing potions. We need dandelions, raspberries, blueberries, honey. Poison resist will be good for the next area, but we don't need to worry about that too much right now. That's where we need the necktails and the thistle and a lot more coal. Of course, honey, as you can see, honey and all the meads is all this. Damn, is where we need our yellow mushrooms and our raspberries, so that'd be useful as well. This one. The tasty is a stamina regen. That'd be an interesting that one to have. And I believe we can go ahead and build ourselves a little bit of a area around this so we don't burn ourselves to death. All the smoke should still go out the chimney. We shouldn't get smoked out of the house yet. There we go. Now we have our cauldron made. That's good. Look how much of this we've gotten done so far. Refill those. Have a little bit more. Offer. Grab this stuff. So we're going to be spending a lot of time doing this. Actually, I see coming night, which would be helpful for us. Go ahead and make sure this is filled all the way. Once we go to sleep, it'll get all this done for us. So let's go ahead and do that right now. There it goes. All finished by morning, we can just put a whole brand new batch in. Oh, it looks like we're finally out of resin in our torches here. So that's a good thing we've been picking up all sorts of resin. Throw a whole bunch more coal in there. Good. Throw five of that in there. And then we can grab this other stack here. More of this in there. Out more of our copper. Quite a lot of copper now is good. All right. What we're going to do now, I think, is we're going to clear some of the trees around here, get some of our build area cleared out a bit, and we'll come back to that. Thanks. And we are back, and we've got a lot of work done. Um, kind of started clearing the path for our new forage area that we're going to have right up here, nearby, right up the hill from Haldor. 
um we've finished processing all the iron or all the not iron we're not there yet but all the copper and tin finished processing that all there and some new things have happened since we've uh, since we've last been around, so we've been recording pretty much since we've been in the process of recording this video. What I want to hit. First off and foremost, our pickaxes and our wood cutting has gotten really far up there. But also, we have two new skills that have just released in the patch today for Bogwitch. They being Tuesday. When I'm recording this, it'll be Friday by the time you see this. And just the patch just released, we got crafting and cooking skills now. I've got some stuff on me to cook. And they've also changed a few things. You'll notice when we open this cauldron, last time we put it down, there was me and stuff in here. There is not anymore. There's a brand new item for that. Also, they changed these a little bit. I had to move around some cooking stations to kind of work properly. Let me just show you the new thing, and that is this. The mead kettle. I think has to go over a fire. I think this still has to go over a fire. We'll have a brand new item in which to put. And also, that, that thing was moving. Look at that. I didn't realize that thing lit up when you would use it. But we have a mead kettle. So that's another reason to have all this copper and tin. And I want to use this copper and tin to make the stuff we need first. So things like the forge cooler and the kettle. This might be the only one left. Let me double check. It looks like that's bronze. Yes. And then what I want to do is make enough bronze to get some of our other items in here, like the bronze plating, bronze tunic, bronze helmet, and the bronze pickaxe. I think I'll do the bronze pickaxe first, just to make sure I have enough bronze for it, and that'll allow me to get even more rocks and such. Now, I'll need to do a bronze mesa at some point as well. Let me go ahead and show you this. So now when you craft, I wonder if this affects two things. So it, it, obviously, it gets our queen's gem as a new item. I think leveled up our cooking. Leveled up our cooking. I'm trying to figure out, does it level up? level up our crafting as well not very much or if anything very minor that's usually probably gonna be for building now we get our cooking which will give us bonus yields all that fun stuff and now we have queen jam which is very good food to have in fact we could probably replace the honey in our our lineup with some queen jam save the honey for some other things like the boar boar jerky which i don't have any uncooked boar meat unfortunately I can also cook the rest of these. Make sure this is working. Is this working? Yes. Nope. See, the, now this right one will not work. We might have to redo orientation of our cooking station here. And as of course, when you put them on, that's when the skill goes up. And I also get a lot of skill for putting meat on your cooking stations here. Took our meat and then we'll reorient our crafting stations, our cooking stations rather. We going up again. We're already almost below five. So yeah, we're just pretty much leveling up some of these new skills we got. And the great thing about the crafting skill is when you put down, even when we put down stone piles, all these different stacks and piles and such. Or you can put bone stacks down. Even when you do this now, you'll still get crafting experience for each time you put one of those down, so. Level five, we just have a couple more things to cook. This'll be good. What I've done now, I've got all that done. I need, I've got this cut out. This will be our upcoming forge, which I am, like I've said a lot earlier, I'm currently working on the build video for. Hope I can get that done soon. I hope we can get that made pretty soon. We almost got the six on our cooking. That's pretty good. 
but let's get the last of this and then we're going to kind of reorient our cooking stations. Will hopefully give us plenty of experience in crafting. Crafting, another good thing about the new crafting skill is it looks like it affects the wear speed of your hammer. So that's just another thing. That later on, even with an upgraded hammer, that gets rough later, so. All right. This place a little bit differently. Okay. I'm gonna change how they're oriented to be. I might change this fire too. Oh. With the fire. I don't think I got the wood back that I just got out of that, but that's okay. I get this fire a little bit more centered now. There we go. Out of wood though. Do I have some in here? Alright. I can get this. See through that? I can't see through that. But I honestly might have to go with just three cooking stations now. I need to figure out if I can see the fire from anywhere. Might even just take it down to two, just to make sure we can still see that fire. That works for me. I'll have to close that one is to that wall. I'm nitpicking a little bit here, but that's okay. Four cooking stations should be more than enough, to be honest. But once we get our stone hearth, we'll be able to put a lot more cooking stuff to set up. And I kind of almost want to build my own cooking building. Now this flame is starting to get in my... I might need to adjust the roof of this place a little bit because the flame is starting to get it up there. How we might do that is we might... Hold down. Hmm. Well, it's not really, it's not getting low enough to make me suffocate. So I almost kind of want to leave it. Cause I like to kind of look at just. Hey, let me get right up next to these. Like I'm, like I'm sorting. Yeah, so I think we're still fine. Oh yeah, we're still fine. I kind of like the look of that, though. Smokiness of the inside of this place. You can't even tell the ceiling's there half the time. Right. Now we're going to start using the queen's meat, which lasts longer than the honey was lasting. And pick up more honey while we're out here. And let's take a look at our... We need some... And we need... Some copper. I believe it said we also needed... Other scraps. There we are. I want to see... I have to build this on a fire. If I just put this right here... I use this. Oh, it does have to have a fire. I'm wondering. Maybe we build a little fire pit just out here for now. Like let's let's make some changes real quick. So we're gonna be building the forge up here anyway. Let's go ahead and throw this up there. Flatten out some ground here. Okay. 
We're going to do something a little bit dangerous. We're going to build a fire just right here. And on top of that fire, we're going to put our little bead thing. And there's all of our mean bases. All right. And all those are still the same. Nothing new in any of those. That's good. That. And I think the last thing I need copper for is the forge cooler. And that's copper and fine wood. Let's grab our fine wood. Let's grab 10 things of copper. Put the forge cooler up here for now. We'll be changing this around when we go to make... Didn't really add anything new. It does allow us to upgrade items. Now we just need to make bronze. Heavy, heavy. We're gonna be fine though because we're just gonna go right over here and we're just gonna start making bronze. All right. Get all the bronze we can make. With this 20 bronze, let's see, what, what do we need for, we need core wood for the pickaxe, and then we need deer hide. That, I think I have enough to make all. Find out. Also a cultivator. Might not have enough to make all of this, actually. That's why we start with the bronze axe. That's going to do a lot more damage to rocks than the, yeah, than the antler one. This one in here for now. Okay. I think I have enough deer hide to make most of the armor. Or the tunic. Boy, and we've already used up all the bronze we can use. We still need five for the cultivator. We still need five for the helmets. We need 10 more bronze. We need eight for the bronze mace. We need a bit more bronze. And that's before we even get to what we need to get to. Go ahead and put on some of our clothes though. We're looking a little bit more shiny now. Looking a little bit more shiny. That's good. Bird's going to become a problem, but I have a few ideas to fix that. All that stuff in there. We can throw the extra food in there. Go test out our bronze pickaxe. I do want to point out that I took care of Pretty much all of the copper that was up here. Like, I don't think there's any copper left, but there was a copper rock up here and you can see just how deep I had to go. Take care of it. I had to really dig out the earth to take care of that. And now we have the next copper. Right over here and you can see kind of how deep I've gone that. And so for two of these nodes, I've almost gotten a bronze for everything I need. Let's see how, let's see how this copper, or excuse me, this bronze axis, oh yeah. We're doing five, seven more damage than our previous one. Oh, hello. They learned to fear me yet. Of course, we'll always take more stone and wood. Also, this bronze pickaxe should last longer. So when I come out here to get these, I should be able to get a lot more bronze out of all this. There we go. A lot more bronze in this ground, I think. Yeah, 
right, let's go and go much faster now. I get a lot of bronze for what we've gotten so far. You can see how more bron more of the copper deposit gets revealed as I dig down. There's even more right there. I know what some people will do, just for fun, is they will dig out the entirety of the copper deposit and then dig under it. If they are able to and have it all come down at once. Because like with structures, any type of supporting ground keep the copper deposits built. Kinda poke around a little bit. Let's see if I can see any other piece of bronze or copper that like sealed right there. There's actually two deposits down there. There was I think I got it when I killed it, but you could see the two numbers going off. That means there was a copper deposit below, and there's another piece of copper. I think there's another piece of copper right there. Yes, there is. You can see just how big these copper deposits are. Hello, Raydor. And not only is our, our bronze pickaxe more durable, but it takes out the little pieces quicker. We'll able to be able to mine a lot more of any sort of metal deposit. I don't know if that was another thing I was hitting or if I was hitting this rock here. I don't know there's too much left. I just kind of dig around the edges here real quick. During the break, this is what I was doing pretty much. I was pulling out a lot more fog, I feel like, in Lower Lands now. So I think it's becoming night. I think we have taken care of this deposit. Oh, wait, nope. Spoke too soon. My last piece, and then we're going back. We have 14 copper. That's a great amount to have. We're real quickly throw this copper into the um, into the smelter. We're gonna get that running before we go to sleep, so it can run throughout the night. We'll have that copper, and then we'll. I think I need to grab a coal. Very nice. Oh, now there's less smoke in here. Why there was... I mean, because I broke out this. But that upper makeover night. Some metal lingers in my mouth. Is that what that said? Interesting. Copper is done. Let's start raining. We're just gonna turn off that fire, which is fine. I'm not using that currently. Uh, where is this? We had one more piece of copper. Which I guess I could have. I just. No, yeah, that's fine. Alright. Just sort it out. I 
You can kind of see all the resources I've gathered in the time. Got plenty of stone, plenty of more wood right now. I want more regular wood. I still need to find where I can get more fine wood that's nearby. But I do also want to get the elder done because we are going to start going to swamps and looking for the bog witch. That'll get us more food recipes to unlock. And why? Okay, never mind. That looked weird. That looked like there was something in front of my charcoal kiln for some reason. But I think we're going to go ahead and stop here for this week. Next week, we'll probably uh, finish out with our bronze and maybe prepare to take on the elder. Start progressing a little bit further into the game as well as hopefully soon start building that that forge, the new forge. Thank you so much for watching. I'd just like to remind you to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content today. Leave a comment down below and uh, join the Discord. Thank you uh, so much. Bye-bye.